The scene is in a drawing room of a house. A girl is reading a comic book while the mother is knitting a sweater and the father walks in. Hi Preeti, would you like to go to the zoo? That is great. Mom, why don't you join us? It'll be fun. What about your homework, young lady? I am all done. I finished it yesterday. Okay, get ready and we will leave in half an hour. Dad, Mom and Preeti go to the zoo in a car. They look around the zoo and the aquarium and are back home in the evening. Preeti, how was the trip? Thank you, Dad. I loved seeing so many animals like the tigers, the lions, the hippos, the deer, the elephants, the monkeys, so many birds and those wonderful fish in different colors. I always felt going to the zoo was more than just entertainment. It is educative also. Yes, Dad. Some of the animals were behaving just like us, especially the gorilla and the chimp. We can learn a lot about animal behavior. I have a lesson on animal behavior. Can you please tell me more about animal behavior? Sure, but today you are tired. Take rest. Tomorrow is also a holiday. We can sit down and have discussion on animal behavior then. Okay, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, dear. So, are you ready? At the zoo, you saw so many animals, birds, fishes. Did you observe how each animal is different from the other? Each animal behaves in a specific way depending on the situation. There are of course some similarities. You seem to have some questions in your mind. Yes, Dad. It is not only at the zoo, but when I see animals in our surroundings, I get some doubts. How did the fish learn to swim? How do birds build nests? Why does the butterfly go only to the flowers which have nectar? Let me explain. Look at these images of some bird nests. They are different types of nests built by different birds. Look at these fish swimming in water. Look at these ants gathering food and see the interaction between them. Look at these ducklings and their mother. The ducklings always follow their mother. And the butterfly always finds nectar. But it still does not make any sense. I have shown you these pictures so that you will understand that each animal has a specific behavior. Some images also show you how they interact with each other. In the above image, you can see how animals escape from predators. Animals defend with their antlers, finding a mate and getting ready to attack. Many such events can be related to animal behavior. Let us now make a more scientific study of animal behavior. Animal behavior has been studied and researched upon feeding behavior, habitat selection, mating behavior, social behavior, etc. The anatomy and physiology of an animal is integrated with its behavior. But how? For example, threats from other animals, sounds, smells, are some of the external stimuli that influence the behavior. Similarly, hunger, fear, etc. are internal stimuli. We can say that behavior of an animal depends on both its external and internal stimuli. If you see a cockroach crawling towards you, what would be your reaction and how would you behave? I would scream and run away. And if you were to smell mum's yummy deserts? I would run into the kitchen to eat. So your behavior for fear, your behavior of wanting to eat is prompted by the stimuli. You mean to say that there are different types of behaviors? Yes.